Hey everyone, how are we doing? And welcome to New York City. Yes, we're filming outside, hence why I'm wearing a coat. It's windy, it's loud, it probably wasn't the best idea, but we're gonna continue through it nonetheless because we're at Aces Press Conference 2019 and we're gonna talk about their latest range of creative things that they're calling Creative D. So this is basically laptops, monitors, desktops that are aimed for creative people, people that want to create. So we have three laptops in total. This is the D5, the D7, and then at the end, the D9. As you can tell, these two are quite similar, and these are pretty much creative laptops that you're going to want to take with you everywhere you go, but without any of the compromises that you might get with a gaming laptop. And gaming laptops are actually very good creative laptops for a lot of people, like myself. If I'm doing show coverage like this, I will actually often use a gaming laptop because they're more powerful, they've got good graphics cards, they can do rendering, all of that good stuff. But it's not really what you want if you're not gaming because they're often very loud and they often have screens that are questionable at best. So for color critical work, they're just not really very appropriate. Both of these will actually clear up both of these problems as acoustics wise, they both feature under 40 decibel levels of noise levels, even under max load, which I think is very, very impressive. And it means that if you are doing some video editing or something, or if you're doing, dare I say, a voiceover, you're not actually gonna be able to hear these things in the background, which is gonna be very useful. And if you are using a shared workspace you're not going to be winding everybody up but more importantly really is the fact that the displays are actually meant for this sort of work so both of them actually look absolutely fantastic this one I seem to have broken and it says enter password and I don't know what the password is um, but this one we can actually still see the screen so it's a hundred percent of Adobe RGB which you will know if you're a photographer is going to be really really important as it is wider than sRGB and you can be able to actually see it in all its glory but the thing at the end and the thing that I will try and pick up, oh my god, that is stupidly heavy. I'm getting looks around me, people saying, what is this idiot doing? This thing is really heavy, and I'm going to put it down before I actually snap my hand. So the D9 is pretty much all about having all of the power you could possibly ask for in a shell that is designed for creatives rather than gamers. And this means that you're going to get the ninth generation of Core i9 processor. So probably an 8-core, but we're not entirely sure at the time of filming because they haven't been announced, which is going to be fantastic for rendering and doing, obviously, those CPU-intensive tasks. We've got a GeForce RTX 2080 ray tracing. Realistically, if you're designing apps for ray tracing, then this is obviously what you're gonna use this thing for. We can laugh and say, oh, you know, I'm just not gonna turn it on in games. But if you wanna create those games, you're gonna need something to do it on. Once again, we've got a Pantone validated 4K UHD display with 100% of Adobe RGB. But the very clever thing here is the hinge. So if I bring this forward, I'm probably horrendously out of focus now. But if we bring this forward, you can see that you can use this as a tablet and it comes with a pen as well. Um, it's a Wacom pen actually, so you'll probably know Wacom from doing the tablets. And instead of having to cart all of this heavy equipment around or only using a desktop, we've now got something that you can take with you, albeit very, very heavily, um, from place to place, and you can do the same jobs that you would have to have a desktop and a tablet with you at all times on the go, which I think is very, very impressive, and it's definitely something that some people will be very, very excited for. The Concept D range also includes a series of monitors, and these share the same design ethos as the notebooks, with super color accurate displays and a very forward thinking design. But I have already covered these in a separate video, so hit the card in the top right hand corner to learn a little bit more. Something that I haven't spoken about yet though are these crazy new desktops from Acer. There's two that have been announced, the D900 and the D500. I sadly wasn't able to get hands on with a 900, but it's essentially a Mac Pro killer with a jet black design and high performance specification that includes dual Intel Xeon gold processors for a total of 40 cores and 80 threads. And there's also an Nvidia Quadro RTX 6000 graphics card and 12 memory slots for a total of up to 192 gigabytes of ECC memory. I definitely think I'll be ordering 10 as pricing starts at a mere $20,000. Bargain. Concept D500 on the other hand is a lot more mainstream and prices start from $1,699. This is definitely the perfect partner for one of Acer's fancy monitors, as it shares the same wooden aesthetic as its cousins, with the top piece even supporting Qi wireless charging. They're striking a great balance between high-end performance and outright costs, as it's using Intel's consumer platform and an i9-9900K 8-core CPU, which will definitely tailor this for all graphics accelerated apps from photography all the way up towards complex 3D rendering and of course AI deep learning. And all of this while keeping noise levels under 40 decibels for not silent but definitely quiet computing. So this has been everything Creative D. 
What is your favorite? What would you buy? Do you think that this is a good idea? Is the design language something that really strikes you or is this just, I guess, another marketing line that, I don't know, you won't really be thinking about? Let me know down in the comment section below, but please hit the like button if you've enjoyed this. It really helps out, you wouldn't believe. And obviously get subscribed to actually see the reviews of all the stuff that I've mentioned in this video. And of course, if you do want to see the video on the monitors or the gaming laptops, you can find those in the end screen or I'll probably link them down below or in cards. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.